Hi everybody, it's Boaz Fader and I'm here with the Daily Astrology Forecast for April 29th, 2016. The moon is in Capricorn and it's squaring Venus today. It's a time of sensitivity within our relationships and regarding anything concerning money affairs or satisfaction in our lives. So, why isn't considered action? This has been the theme for the last couple of days. This is still the theme. We have to be careful with how we spend money today and make sure that we spend it for the right reasons on the right things. And we have to be careful within our relationships today with what we say and how we react and, and really think about things before. There is a sesky square to Jupiter in the sky speaking about the fact that we want to indulge ourselves, that we want to be pampered, but it isn't always the right choice for us. There is a moon that's void, of course, between 9 a.m., to 11 a.m. Central European time, it's still in your morning time, America, and then it moves into Aquarius, you'll be waking up to that moon in Aquarius, America, with, you know, a very uh, different kind of energy, a new, more, a more new agey energy, more cerebral energy to the day. There's a sextile to Vesta, it's a time that we work on our dedication, it's a time that we work on the things that are important to us in life, it's a, it's a time that we work on our way, or our, our, our do, as it, it is said in Japanese uh, philosophy. The way, the do, is something that we are working on during this time. Like ju do, uh, bushi do, uh, all these way, the way of the warrior, you know. So we are working on our own ways, our own do today. <coughs> But the evening could be a little uneasy with uh, the moon expecting the nodes not so beautifully. But we do have a sextile to Mars at the night time. And if you are staying up late in Europe or from your evening time America, there's an energetic wave coming that we could really enjoy. And I recommend uh, utilizing it to the best of your measure. There is a square to the sun a bit later on, it's a time that we need to evaluate how our emotional needs are working with our ego, how they are being channeled into our realities and into our creative measures, and, and of course be sensitive with everything concerning relationships between the sexes. Mercury is already retrograde, it's conjuncting Vesta, again a time that we are working on our though. Thank you for listening. And I'll see you all tomorrow. Bye-bye.